Welcome to Great Tribe Moments. I'm Scott Neal, Athletic Director here at Tallulah Falls School, and with us today we have Coach Tim Corbett, Middle School Athletic Director, and we'll come back in a few minutes and uh, uh, talk to Coach Corbett. Um, first, I want to give a couple of recent highlights. Our middle school volleyball team finished 14-5, uh, and five, the A team, and the B team 11-4, and four. so a combined record of 25-9 and nine recently. Our JV team finished 22-2 and two and was second at the area tournament, and our varsity team uh, qualified for state last night, uh, fourth in the area, and they'll play at Walker next uh, Thursday. And right now is 24 and 11 record. They're doing really well. Middle school tennis just finished. Uh, girls were 8 and 0, uh, and the the boys were 7 and 1. So a great season for middle school tennis. Um, middle school cross country has the tri-state championships today at the TFS farm at 4:30. Um, high school cross country, Perry Gresham set a school record yesterday at the Runners Fit Mountain Invitational at Unicoi State Park in Helen. Uh, ran 2059.1 for a new school record. Congratulations to her. Our winter sports for middle school starts next Monday, um, October 9th. We'll send out something this weekend for the coaches, but that does start Monday um, at 3 o'clock uh, for winter sports for middle school. As always, check out our Facebook, Twitter, uh, and our calendar website. Uh, for any changes and any other information. And now let's get uh, to Coach Corbett here. Coach Corbett is the middle school athletic director, teaches PE, coaches cross country and track and field, and he comes to us from Jefferson High School where he's been there for um, quite a long time, a storied history there, uh, well-renowned coach in the, in the state of Georgia. Uh, he and his family, Brandy, Katie, and Kale, um, all join us, and uh, Coach Brandy Corbett is the girls' varsity volleyball coach and has done quite well so far. Um, coach Corbett has a vast experience as an AD coach and teacher, and we have a, just a couple of questions for him today, one of which is, why to Little Ball School? Well, uh, first of all, thanks for having me this morning. Um, I think the first thing that really struck me about Tallulah Falls over the years, and it's, it's been a career of spanning 27 years and, and over the years I've had interactions with Tallulah Falls as as an opponent and I was able to witness the staff and the students during that time and I knew something good was going on based on the uh, the way I was received, the way the students uh, interacted at different meets that we hosted back uh, when I was at the other school at Jefferson. and. Uh, it's just a really uh, neat situation in my mind based on what I saw uh, and the interactions I had with the groups. Um, and then, you know, our school that we were in before was growing, getting much larger. Uh, we were seeking a school that was a little more, you know, a smaller situation, uh, more intimate. And anytime you can get in a situation where academically and athletically uh, it's a smaller setting, uh, we tend to get a little bit more done and uh, we accomplish a little bit more in that way um, and you know personally our family uh, about six years ago we experienced some life-threatening situation with uh, with our son and uh, we really I think our priorities and our perception of, of what we needed to be trying to get out of life period uh, changed at that point and uh, we felt like we could find that uh, here at the Little Falls. Well, we certainly welcome you to the mountains and welcome you to Tallulah Falls School, and we're certainly glad to have you. Our second question is, what, what have you observed so far about our quest to be mission-driven and to, to be great? Um, I believe that a lot of schools try to uh, verbalize those things. They try to advertise those things. One thing I've noticed differently here, and, and I am you know, on the front line, so to speak, but uh, I get to see it firsthand, it's deliberate and it's purposeful and it's a part of the culture. It's not just lip service that you see. It's uh, action uh, that is not only taken on by the staff, but uh, in large part taken on by the students um, and led by the students. And that's been interesting because uh, I've never seen that approach at such a high level where students are really taking charge of what's going on, uh, both in the planning and implementing uh, different things. Um, just recently, uh, you know, Cross Country helped out um, uh, some of the local, uh, I believe it was one of the Park Service trails, uh, Cross Country in the middle school, 
tennis at a car wash to raise money for an organization. Volleyball recognized uh, different cancer organizations and individuals on our campus uh, and raised money for those organizations. And uh, I think our high school cross country had the local heroes that we, we recognized a few weeks ago. And uh, just, you know, different things that we're not just talking about it, we're actually doing it. And when I say we, it's not you, it's not me, it's not anyone on our staff, it's all the group together, including the students, most importantly the students. And, and the final question, what, what do you see as a, as a challenge for us? I believe in, in all school situations, athletic departments, it's, it's a very liquid or fluid issue that you're dealing with. We change students every year, we add classes, uh, staff changes. Hopefully your staff doesn't change you know, drastically, but we do go through those transitions. I think the challenge is to take what we have uh, and, and grow it, uh, increase our reach and increase um, you know, the, the numbers that we reach and, and what we do, but also remain competitive uh, because life is a competitive situation as well. And in athletics, we all, all want to be winners. You know, I think you can be good and be good at it at the same time. Very good. Well, we want to, again, welcome you to Great Tribe Moments. We hope you have a great week next week, and we sure appreciate Coach Tim Corbett and his family being here with us. And, uh, um, have a great day. Thank you.